Welcome to my world, everyone. This is Like It or Not with Michael Lane. And Michael Lane is who I be. Don't forget to join me. Look, I have two YouTube pages. So please sub subscribe to them and spread the word, man. Tell your friends to uh, subscribe and check out my video blogs. That is Like It or Not Politics 1, which you're watching now. And Like It or Not Mike. Look down there in the description box and you will see the links, all right? Rick Perry has been indicted on two charges of abuse of power. One charge he faces t up to 10 years in prison. The other he faces up to 99 years in the, in the penitentiary. We all know this is crap, don't you? But let me go deeper into this here. Uh, you all know that uh, Rosemary uh, Lemberg, I hope I'm saying it right, Rosemary Lemberg was, uh, is the district attorney uh, of Texas, and she was uh, caught up drinking and driving. The district attorney now, the district attorney uh, caught up uh, drinking and driving, acting a fool, in jail after she got arrested and I mean she was toe up from the flow up okay she was toe down from the flow down she was just kicking mad uh, cursing I was, I was a slur speech, and all of that man she was acting a plum fool she was asked by the governor which was the right thing to do to step down but you know these Democrats. She's a Democrat, obviously. And you know Democrats are not going to step down. So what happened was, uh, they are saying that Rick Perry vetoed, he did veto, uh, the Brennial, Brennial, I hope that's how you pronounce it, the Brennial funding uh, for the Travis County uh, uh, Public uh, uh, Integrity. I think it was a uh, Travis County, Travis County Public Integrity, he held that, I don't think it was like seven, uh, $7.5 million, and uh, until I think last year, but he had withheld that, he, he vetoed it, uh, because he wanted that woman gone, and she refused to leave, and now, suddenly, perfect timing, he's been indicted. I never thought that veto was a, uh, an abuse of power. And people are asking him now. Now they're asking, they didn't, not, the Democrats didn't ask Lemberg to step down. But now they're asking Rick Perry to step down. We're talking about a district attorney who broke the law. Sounds, sounds like the attorney general, doesn't it? But Lemberg broke the law. She didn't step down. Not one Democrat asked, hey, look, you need to step your ass down. No. No. But now they're asking Rick Perry to do so. We all know who's doing it. We all know who's behind it. Eric Holder and Barack Obama. Because this man has shown, this president, that he has a pen and a phone as well. So while he uh, goes on his mission to turn this country into a third world country, Leave America susceptible to terrorist attacks because terrorists can cross the border. Don't forget, there was a reporter who dressed, it, uh, dressed up as uh, Bin Laden. He crossed the border. Dressed up as Bin Laden. So you know what's up. You know the president don't care. D diseases, Ebola, uh, scabies, he doesn't care. You don't expect a man who who allegedly loves this country to do that, right? Come on, man. This man can't stand this country. He hates this country. So, of course, he's going to do that. Come on. But this is perfect timing. We have to get him out because he is a 2016 presidential hopeful. And he is fronting me off. The approval ratings for me is going down and his is going up. 
and he has the strong hand. He's handling it. He's showing that he's a leader. So Mr. Obama got to get him out of there. And this is what they're doing. It's quite obvious. And you know it's something when you have a far left person named David Axelrod who helped Obama and Clinton get in office. For him to say that something is fishy, you know something is wrong. You know it. We all know something is wrong, man. This is a farce. This is a political sideshow. And I hope, I hope the district attorney or the, the attorney general of, of that state, I hope he's locked up eventually. And I hope that trail will be busted out and exposed and show another crooked move from this lawless president and a so-called attorney general, a.k.a. activist. Get them out of there. You keep doing what you're doing, Rick Perry. You keep doing what you're doing. You're not going to spend a single second in, in jail because this is going to be thrown out. And if it's not thrown out, then this is going to be a waste of taxpayers' dollar, uh, taxpayer dollars, and you will not be convicted. This is a joke. And you know what? America is becoming a joke. Because you have Democrats ready to make a move on a Texas governor. But do not make, look at these Republicans, these alleged Republicans will not make a move in getting rid of this crooked president who is not an American, who wasn't born in this country, who knows the Constitution up, down, left, and right, and yet still breaks every law. They do nothing. But yet these Democrats are trying to get rid of the real Americans like it or not like it or not like it or not like